There it is. Go ahead now. Okay, so this is a recap of the beginning of our both ride on the bay in Tampa. So, um, just to catch you guys back up to speed, it's a boat ride with friends, myself, Nate, Jamel, and Sarah. We're just having a good time. At this current time, I am the one driving the boat. Not knowing that later on we are going to be on a journey of our lifetime. But right now we're just having a good time. It is dark. It's the night before Thanksgiving, I believe. And we're just riding our night away. But um, just go ahead and watch. I am going to fast forward to the part where we're actually stuck. So right now it's pitch dark outside as you can see we don't really know where we are all i know we, we're on the water the boat is drifting away and nate is trying to start the ignition and there we are Okay, so we didn't really get anywhere, so that was an epic fail. Um, as you can see, there is a grassy, bushy area that we're in. The tides are getting low, so we're not floating as much anymore. So we're kind of stuck. We're like really stuck trying to figure out what's going on, what to do. We just know that somebody has to get off the boat and push the boat away from this grassy, bushy area, this island that we're in right now. Okay, so at this point, we're really running out of option. We just called the lifeguard boat rescue. They just mentioned that the tides were too low. They wouldn't be able to come and pick us up until later, about maybe 10 hours from now, when the tides gets higher in the morning. And so we're just like freaking out. We're trying to remain calm. Um, right now, Nate is trying to see if he can send off a flare um, to try to draw the attention on our boat. But again, it is a holiday weekend. We're not sure if the surrounding neighbors can see us. And we're right now just reality is really setting in. To be honest, I think everybody was like freaking out of their mind. We were like scared. I knew I was, but I tried to remain calm throughout the whole thing because it was not going to help freaking out. What's in these woods here? <clears throat> so, we're in the water. Stranded. Look at Nate right here. We are stranded. We don't know where we're at. We don't know what we're doing. Don't blame me for it. Don't blame me. I oh, hope somebody come and save me. No one. We had an accident. And we are stranded. Please help us, Lord. So this is where we're at now. Yep. We're still here. We're alive for right now. And what time is it? Let's see. I don't know what time it is, but as you can see, the sun is up from last night. Never again. I'm so calm right now, but I really want to freak out. But that's not going to help anything. So, yeah. Never again. All right, so fast forward. Um, our boat drifted off away um, in the backyard of a surrounding neighbor and right now Nate is as you can see out of the boat the ties are very low our boat is stuck um, 
Jamel and Sarah was able to leave to go and get the car to come and pick us up. So here we are. We're safe, out of the boat. All right, so we made it. Yeah. We, we made it alive, just to let you know. We made it alive. We're humble right now. We're In humble. shark infested waters. He but I had to do it for the team. He did it. He did it I for had us. To do it. You know what I'm saying? So we, yeah. we strong, we survive. We thank God it's that we're alive. It's, it's only 8.03. We've been out on the water since. One. One. I think it was, we were out in the water since like probably 12. No, we, we got in at. about one. We've been stranded since about two. Shaking my head right now. Shaking my head. So we had an hour of water fun. And I after know, that. I don't know about water fun, but. But uh, we're just glad we're here. Whatever. On the road. But we need to die. What? What you say? We didn't really die sitting there. We the were world. dying. We were dying. <laughs> okay. I, and I remain calm. Yeah, but, um, I, I am actually uh, proud of you. Thank you. No, I remain she, very she, calm. I was she not was crying like somebody else. She was about to break down too. Oh, and I pee on the side of the boat. Nella, you did too. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this. So now we're walking back to the location where we left the boat. So let's stay right here. We actually went home. Took a shower. It all got cleaned up. He went to sleep. I didn't. We ate breakfast. We ate breakfast. Thank, thanks to Rocky for cooking. But I didn't sleep. He did. Anywho. So we're gonna be back. Well, now the boat is flowing. It's floating, I mean. Go, go. Go on. All right, the tides are high. It is floating. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now that the tides are higher, we're able to um, get the boat out of the area. Um, at this point, we would have to get the boat on the main dock. So I am about to go and drive the car around and hopefully we can find another boat or someone to help us get the boat all the way around the dock for us to haul it away. believe we were stuck up here all last night in this island so they're going away now all right somehow some way god made a way and it seems like nate was able to get a few friends to come and get him to ride the boat all the way to the main dock so right now we're about to load the boat i am in the vehicle in the car and we're about to get the boat out of the water hey finally made it So 
So as you can see, like I said, God made a way. We had great Samaritans that came and assisted us and helped us through the process. So we are so grateful right now. Hi. So now, I don't even know if you can see because I can't even see what I'm recording right now. But as you can see, Nate is about to strap up the boat. You need me to hold something? Okay. So we're strapping the boat, well, not we, but Nate is strapping the boat to the um, trailer. And uh, yep, we're about to haul it away. Yay. Leaving the park, and what time is it? It like. is 2:38. So some oh guy <laughs> named uh, Bruno from Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. From Brazil. Brazil. He was nice enough to help us. He and his two sons. So I got another buddy that owns a boat. My friends need to get your game up and buy a boat. Real. Where were you when I needed you? Nowhere, nowhere. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? This, this is a, an experience, you know what I mean? And, uh. Any, any single guys that want to ride a dive chick, Antonella is Ooh, the one. That's, this is not a thing. That's, that's, that's my word. Not, this is not a thing. Uh, everybody uh, on Tingle, yeah. Tinder, Christian Mingle. Okay, I'm gonna have I'll just right here. My girl. Okay. Hold on, wait, no. My girl is everything. So, hold on, don't be taking the camera from me. Hit her <laughs> up. Hit her up. What do you mean? Hit her up. <laughs> Hit her up on Facebook. Christian Mingle. Hit her up. 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 Survival. No, and survival, yeah. Survival. That was a scary, a, a scary night for me, anyways. Okay, so. But it was a rush. I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> for me, it was a rush. It was uh, because, very scary yeah. for me. <laughs> I was scared too, but I had to take one from the, for the team. Yeah, he did take one for the team, and I'm not sure I recorded that part, but uh, yeah. The shark infested water and he actually went in the water. Yeah, I had to tell her that there weren't any sharks in there so she wouldn't lied. Get worried. Lied. Yeah, I did lie. I mean I knew sharks were in there but not at five. Not at five. In they're tide. in the water. It doesn't matter if they had five, like they have yeah, a but schedule. It was low it was low tide though. They don't have a particular schedule. Oh yeah, we're not gonna eat anything. When tonight. we left when we left the tide was like one one um one to two feet of water. And we are we have returned and the tide is up to about like my waist. So that's about four to five feet of water right now. So that's crazy how the water came up. Yes, it but was. but we made it. What God? <laughs> that's for you religious people. <laughs> what? Thank you, Jesus. He covered He covered us by his grace. I can say that. I was praying the whole time. Thank you for everyone that did intercede. She shout was out on to, Tinder. Shout out to looking, all, all brother for all Richard for interceding that night. Richard was praying. not interceding. <laughs> he, was he, was just, he was just like the disciples, sleep. <laughs> when Jesus told him to pray, Richard was sleep. Richard Franklin. He, he did text me back and say he, he, was, he wanted to make sure it was all right. I think he said that like three hours later. But <laughs> <laughs> the fact of the matter is we... Uh, we do want to thank everyone that uh, that knew about it and uh, helped us out in in prayer. And for anybody that owns a boat, please get um, Boat USA. So because the Coast Guard will not be able to help you if you are in a small 
uh, inlet of water. You have to at least be in the bay. If not, you're gonna be scarred. You're gonna be stuck. Don't go out. Nobody's gonna night come and get you. Without a trolling motor. That's my next investment, a trolling motor. You or you're gonna be stuck. And you don't wanna be stuck. Yeah. Late at night. And I don't think I'll be going out at night. Not until the summer at least. Oh, what do you think, boy? Anywho, so we just wanna give you a, a shout out to everybody and thank you for watching our journey. Oh, pre ray we've been listening to Possible like all day, really. So I love it. Waiting for you to hit me up. Love you, Cree. All right. Holla.